Hello, I'm Brian Brush, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of the split ball versus the solid ball shutoff. The three options when it comes to the ball valve and specking out your shutoffs are the full round, the single cut, and the double cut. The full round has no assistance in that opening, but provides a nice, clean, clear waterway as the water travels through. The single cut ball has a little bit of assistance. As that pressure comes in, it catches this lip, and that volume and pressure helps assist with the opening and closing of the valve. But in the fully open position, you can see this single cut does create a void in the bottom of our waterway, and voids create turbulence. With the double cut ball valve, you can see we get the greatest assistance in both opening and closing due to the pressure and volume hitting that vein. But in the bottom of our waterway, you can see that we now have two void spaces, which creates turbulence and will disrupt the stream of the smoothbore nozzles. Again, this is not a factor in our higher pressure fog lines because it's a broken stream anyway. But in our smoothbore nozzles, we wanna make sure we spec out proper shutoffs so we have a clean waterway with very little turbulence. Oftentimes, fire departments that are in fog tips want to evaluate smoothbore nozzles as an option, and they'll simply remove their fog tip and attempt to use a smoothbore. But as we spoke about before, that split ball shutoff that supported their fog tip now causes points of turbulence in the bale, which affects the quality of our smoothbore stream. These guys are going to open up and demonstrate how that split ball affects the smoothbore tip and the quality of the stream in these inch and three quarter lines. When we're evaluating the quality of the stream, we're gonna start here at the nozzle. You can see as it leaves the nozzle, it's the appropriate pressure, we're fully open, but we start to get chatter just several inches away from the shutoff. And as that goes out, it reduces our breakover point. Go ahead and lower that one down. With the full round ball, you can see nice compact stream leaving the nozzle, very little chatter, moves us forward and takes our breakover point much further out. From this vantage point, we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the split ball and the full round solid ball. If we look at the split ball line on the left, you'll see that that chatter and that stream disruption is much closer to our nozzle, which brings our breakover point closer to the nozzle. When the split ball valve is played actively as a line, you can see that stream continuity is lost very closely and it starts to break up. When we do the same operation with the solid ball full stream, you can see the stream continuity is held together much longer. We have a nice compact stream providing that environmental cooling, coating surfaces, ceilings, and walls ahead of our line for that interior structure firefighting. So when we're specking out nozzle packages, evaluate your smooth bores and shut off together as a system, go with the full round ball to eliminate that turbulence point.